we're working on topic 11, um, lesson 11.2. The goal is to be able to subtract on an open number line. So I can subtract on an open number line. Um, and we're going to be doing that by using the strategy of counting back and the strategy of counting on, and you'll have an option to choose either one of those ways that you want to use the open number line in order to solve the equations that we're working with. Um, so you already have some background knowledge on how to do this. Um, the only difference is now we're going to be doing it with three digit numbers. So for example, um, we'll start with this. So the equation is 573 minus 459. And you're told you must use an open number line in order to solve this. So you're going to start by drawing your open number line. Um, we're going to look at this second number here. Um, this 459 is what we're going to be starting with. We're going to count up from that number because it's the smaller number. So you might hear the words count on. Um, you might also hear the words add up. So we're going to start with the 459 and we're going to put it over here on the left hand side and we're going to count up until we get to 573. Um, I'm going to start by adding 100 because I know if I add 100 to this number, 459, it's not going to go over this amount of 573. So I'm going to start by adding 100. So 459 plus 100 is 559. Now I'm trying to get to this number right here of 573. So I need to add some tens, and I also need to add some ones. For me, I really like to get to the next 10 and then add on from there. So 559, I'm going to just add one to get to 560, because to me that's a happier number to, to be working with. So 560, I need to get to 570, so I'm going to add another 10. So 570. Now I need to add 3 to get to 573. Now notice I'm touching this open number line every single time, and I'm adding and writing the number below where I've touched the number line. Um, so 570 plus the 3 is 573. Um, in order to figure out what the difference is, I need to go back and check out what did I add in order to get to that 573. That was our stop number. So 100, I'm going to go over to my 10, so 110, 111, 114. So the difference, 573 minus 459, the difference is 114. And I used the counting on. I could have done count back, but for this one, I wanted to add up in order to count on. Ooh, the screen marker. Now I'm going to do a couple more with counting on, and then we'll talk a little bit about the counting back. And I have to remember, I don't like that green marker. All right, so the next one um, is going to be 563 minus 358. Again, I'm gonna use count on on an open number line because that's the goal of this lesson is to be using the open number line to show subtraction. So we're starting with our open number line. I'm going to start with this smaller number because I'm counting on, and then this is going to be my stop number, the 563. So I'm going to count on until I get to 563. So 358 goes right over here on that left-hand side. I need to get to 500. So I have three hundreds. I need to get to 500. I'm going to add two more hundreds. So that brings me to 500. 58. That's super, super close to 563. So I don't have too much that I need to add. So 558, I want to get this 8 to the next 10. The compatible number for that is 2, so I'm going to add 2. That brings me to 560. Now I need to add the 3 to get to, five, oops, to 563. So here we go, 563. I'm going to just straighten that up a little bit. Um, this was our stop number. We started at the 358. I added 200 plus 2 plus 3 is 5, so I added 205, and that should be what the difference is. Now, there is another step that I want you to make sure you know how to do. Um, the opposite operation of subtraction is addition, and in order to make sure that your answer is correct, I want you to add these two numbers together and see if it equals up to be 563. So 205 plus... 358. 
So start with your ones. Five plus the eight is 13. Carry up that one, add your tens, and then add your hundreds place. So 563 is the same as 563. So you know that your answer is correct. The difference is 205. All right, we're going to use counting on again. Um, and then we'll move to the counting back. Um, 430 minus 267 equals something. We're using our open number line. We're going to start with this 267. And then we're going to add up until we get to 430. Now, if I add two hundreds, it's going to get me closer to that um, 400 spot. Um, I don't want to add too, too much. Um, if I added three hundreds, then it would bring me to 530, I'm sorry, 567, and that would be way too much. So I'm only adding two hundreds. Um, you can choose to add 100 at a time if that's more comfortable for you. Um, you should be at a point where you're able to notice that this needs to get all the way to the 400s place, and you should be able to to add that 200, no problem. Um, ooh, you know what? And then if I add that 200, then that gives me an issue. Let me show you what I just made a mistake of. So 200 um, added to that brings me to 467. 467 is too, too, too much. This is what happens when you're talking and trying to work things out at the same time. So I'm not gonna add 200, I'm only gonna add 100. 467 was too much. That went past my number. So I'm going to add 100. Let's see if that looks better. So that'll bring me to 367, which is still less than what I'm supposed to be at. I'm going to keep on going. I'm going to add some um, ones because I like to get this to the next 10. So 367, I'm going to add 3. That's the compatible number to the 7. And that brings me to 370. Now the next friendly number that I'd like to get to is to get to um, 400. So the compatible 10 for this 7, again, is 3. So because it's the 10s, I'm going to add 30. That brings me to 400. And then to get to 430, I need to add another 30. Um, I do like that I made a mistake because it kind of shows a little bit about why you need to, to be careful about what you're doing. So sorry about that, but now you know. Everybody makes mistakes. Um, 100, I'm going to add the 60 and three, so 163 is the difference between 430 and 267. Um, again, I want you to be in the habit of checking your um, subtraction equations with addition. So 163, and I'm just working backwards, plus the 267. Now do not automatically just write 430 underneath there. You need to check, and if you made a mistake and added too many hundreds or something like that, then you would find that out at, at this time as well. <clears throat> So you've got 10, 6 plus 6 is 12, plus one more is 13, 430 is what I got for the sum. 430 was my beginning number. I know that that's correct. So 163 is the difference. Um, and these were all with the counting on. I'm going to show you what the counting back looks like. And we'll start with um, a problem that we already worked on, and we'll do the counting um, back with that. So 563 minus 358 equals something. I am going to use this time to tell you, please take out your paper. And this is what I need you to do. Um, on this lesson number 11-2, I want you to draw a smiley face on the first page of your work. Draw one smiley face and make your eyes look like this. You can even give it a little tongue like that. So write that on the first page of your assignment so that I know that you watched this video. Um, now we're going to switch over to the counting back. So with counting back, it's a little bit different. Um, with the counting on, we started with the 358. With the counting back, um, we're going to start with the larger number, the 563, because we're going to be doing some subtracting. So we're going to subtract the 300, the 50, and the 8 from this number here, and it's gonna tell us what the answer is. So, I'm gonna just make sure you have enough space to see. We're starting with the 563, and then we're gonna come, come blah, 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 blah. we are going to count back um, at 300s, 
So remember, you can do minus 100, minus 100, minus 100 um, three times, but for me, we're going to just do the minus 300 with one big swoop. So um, 5 hundreds minus 3 hundreds is 2 in my hundreds, and then I'm going to keep the 63 the same. So 263. I need to take away 5 from my tens place. So that's 50. So 6 tens minus 5 tens is going to leave 1 in the tens place. The other digits stay the same. So now we're at 213. So I've already taken away the 3 in the hundreds. I've already taken the 5 tens. Now I need to take away 8 ones. Um, I'm going to take away the 3 ones first, and I'm going to just break apart the 8 into a 3 and a 5. That'll help me not get very confused. So 213, take away the 3, leaves me with 210. Now I'm going to take away the 5. And that leaves me with 205. Notice how this is a little bit different because it's not equaling up to be the 358 or the 563. This is actually what your difference is. This is the number that you land on. It's 205 and that's what the difference is. In order to check this on your open number line, if you want, you can go back 300 plus 50, and then 5 and 3 makes 8. So 358 is what you subtracted, so you know you did that correctly. And of course, always go through. Make sure if you add 205 plus the 358 that it equals up to be 563. Um, 5 plus 8 is the 13. We're going to carry up that one. 563, we know that it is correct. So the difference is 205. Um, I am going to kind of not spend too, too much time on this count back. I'll do one more something, but I also wanted to do a word problem as an example. Um, so we're going to use counting back for our word problem. Because I've planted some of these seeds and you guys have done some in the classroom, I thought it would be fun to make a word problem with them. So there are 258 sunflowers and some zinnias in the garden. There are 429 flowers in all. How many zinnias are in the garden? Use an open number line to solve. Um, I told you we're going to use count back for this. And so that's what we're going to do. But step one, we've got to figure out what the equation is asking of us. So just to do a reread, we've got 258 sunflowers. And it says that we have some zinnias. We don't know how many zinnias that that is. That sum is just a something in the garden. There are 429 flowers in all. So that tells us what it equals up to be. But we don't know how many zinnias. So remember, we can just put this with a box. I'm going to modify what this equation looks like so that I can solve it on my open number line a little bit easier. That's something that you're probably going to want to do as well. Um, I picked this green marker that I don't like. Oops. So I'm just going to rearrange this and it'll tell me how many zinnias. I'm going to put it in as a, as a subtraction equation. So 429 minus the 258 equals something that'll tell us how many zinnias are in the garden. We are going to use counting back on our open number line. So counting back means we are starting with the big number, the 429. And because we're doing backwards jumps, that's what the counting back is. So 429, we are taking away 2 from the hundreds. So we're going to go jump back minus the 200. So the 4 in the hundreds minus the 2 in the hundreds leaves me with 229. Now I'm going to take away 5 from the tens. I only have 2 in the tens. That's going to be really tricky for me to do in my head. First I'm going to take away um, the 2. So I'm going to just take away 20. So 229 minus the 20 gives me 209. And then I'm going to have the partner pair. So 2 tens plus 3 tens would be that 5. So I'm going to take away the 30. So first I took away the 20. Now I'm going to take away the 30. Together that equals up to be the 5. Um, so 20 tens, I'm sorry, yeah, 20 tens minus the 3 tens leaves me with 17 tens and 9 in the 1s. So again, what I'm doing on here is I'm just looking at this as I had 20 tens and I have 17. So 20 minus the 3 
is the 17. So this is 179. So I've taken care of this. Now I need to take away 8 from the 1's place. So 179 minus the 8 is 171. That's what my difference is. So remember, we are going to check our work. So when I'm checking, I'm saying 171 plus 258 should equal up to be 429. So I'm adding up my ones place. Seven plus five is 12. Carry up the one. One plus one is two. 429 matches with this 429, so I know that my sum is um, correct. The difference is 171. That's how you use an open number line to count back and an open, open number line to count on. Um, the number of zinnias that were in the garden, 171. That's a lot of flowers. Take care.